We're giving you nothing for exploring. I'm stuck. Alright, so we're looking at two dudes here. Coming back. All right. Now's my chance. Now's my chance to prove to myself that I can do this. Huh? 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 Gotta, gotta move. Gotta move now. I don't have time to take these guys out one by one. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. What is that? Oh, that's a thingy. That's a thingy. I see a thingy. Another one. And you guys didn't hear that. Okay. That's fine. Wow, so there's like all these open spaces, but nothing. Not a zip zilch. Bubkiss. to turn around, and then I'm going to break a break for it, provided he doesn't turn counterclockwise. I should be fine. Okay, go, 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 go. I said go! Alright, in the clear. I'm in the clear, I think. He can't see me. I'm covered in green mist. Yeah. How do you like that? Oh boy. My light gem's going off. There's so many dudes. Why are there so many dudes? Hmm. Would it be wise to go now? Why, well, yes, I think it would be. By the seat of my pants. Audio log. Guess it's gonna be another black box. Oh no. Oh, I can't, um, can't scroll or anything like that. Just have to do this. And very, very, very awkward. Uh, da, 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 I asked Megalodon, 16 years, still have no true understanding of nature beyond three ominous words spoken, peace, in 2150. 
is, in 2156, and futile as of yesterday. Wait, hang on. What is saying this? Much has been said about this machine. What machine? The machine. What, what machine? What machine are you talking about? I'd like to use this space to urge the Board of Representation to vote in favor of removing this machine from our ship and casting it into the void of space. Three central reasons for doing so. The history of technical, technical issues. Call them issues without understanding the problem. The health of the staff and the frustrating, unparsable nature of its existence. Oh shit, there's a lot. We discovered this machine in a shallow cave under the planet's surface in 2143. It took us three months to extract it and hook it up to the ISS Megalodon for examination. And less than a month after that, a glitch disabled Amy for seven hours, nearly causing a shipwide suffocation and blackout. At the time, I was vocal advocate for the I, and I understand my hypocrisy. I claim that the two events were independent and unrelated. Glitches in Amy's programming were bound to surface eventually. However, the massive loss of data in 2151 and 2156, each occurring within a few months of the eye's brief periods of activeness, point to the, f to the falsity in my judgment, as three direct correlations can rarely be classified as a coincidence. The eye's presence in our ship is dangerous to the in integrity of our systems as well as what's left of our data. A further problem arises when we consider the health of the staff who have spent the longest around this machine. Last year, Roger Spine, Roger Spine, I don't know why Roger came from, Roger Spine was confined in stasis for signs of early onset dementia, deeming him a danger to himself and the rest of the crew. He had spent a total of 108 hours in the presence of the eye. Before that, 21 in 2149, Timothy Bowman had spent 96 hours with the eye and was inexplicably diagnosed with schizophrenia, with no prior signs and no family history. Bowman was also relegated to stasis. I'm worried about Elisha Kitchens, who spent 72 hours with the eye as of her last report. That's probably the crazy girl, and has been experiencing bouts of drowsiness and loss of lucidity, to the points that the eye having a signs point to the eye having a strong, tangible effect upon the sanity of anyone within his presence. This cannot be the sign of a creature that is benevolent and docile. Marker, hello. At the risk of seeming terse, I would, as my last argument, like to point out that despite 16 years and a total of 1,560 man-hours devoted to the deconstruction and comprehension of this alien machine, sorry, machine, we have made no progress whatsoever, and we never will, because it is beyond our understanding. It is totally, inconceivably incomprehensible. Peace is futile indeed. There can be no possible benefit to keeping the eye aboard the ISS Megalodon beyond a misguided devotion to our past efforts. We spent a, pro a preposterous amount of time in our attempts to understand it, but that time is sunk cost. What? We need to eject this thing from the ship as soon as possible, without delay or hesitation. We know it's smart, we know it understands what we've done to it, we know it understands the meaning of a threat, and that it possesses the power to follow up these threats. Peace is futile. We are at war with this machine, whether we accept it or not. We are at war. Please don't let it stay here, for the love of God, destroy it. Well then. This machine sounds a lot like the marker, doesn't it? Alien device security card alien device causes insanity all that stuff you guys all walk with a limp have you all like taken a tumble down the same stairs at one point in your life hello my name is Gimpy Okay, where do I go now? Oh, probably in that other fork direction. Now the question is, do I just run past all these guys? Because they don't have a very long attention span.
They don't have a very good attention span. Damn it! Just run. Just run away. Hi. Follow the pain train! Um... You guys alright? Oh, okay. I was worried for a moment because you weren't responding at all. Wow. Okay, so if I'm fast enough, they'll... No, they won't. I was gonna say, if they're fast enough, if I'm fast enough, they won't, they'll just forget about me. You guys are, um... I don't want to say zombies, but zombies. Now that we have a security card, I'm assuming that's the only reason why we went over there. Well, you didn't go over there, I went over there. You're just watching me. Come here, come here. I want to tell you a story. Imagine trying to talk to ants. You got all their pheromones cataloged, and you know how to say Things, but your mind's racing, and your tools are limited, and you can't say everything you want to say. No complex thoughts because of the limitations. That's what it's like for our dear old friend to talk to us in English. Um, you mean Amy? I'm assuming you mean Amy. Health pack. Sweet. I'm not going to use it right now because I'm not too badly damaged. I noticed that those guys, when they attacked me, they sounded like they were shooting bullets out of their fingers. That's a nice touch. Good, I'm getting a save. I like saves. Not fun. What? No. Oh, I wish we were different. I wish this wasn't so one-sided that you'd give me the basic courtesy of screaming in unimaginable pain once in a while. But you need me more than I need you, so I gotta get my kick somewhere. Um, lady? I... What? Are you talking about? I'm not in pain. You want me to go get hit by these guys? We can talk about that, okay? We can we can negotiate. I go get hit a couple times, you show me your tits. Simple. Turn around. Thank you. Oh wow, there's two of them. You're kidding, right? You're, you're kidding. You must be joking. You're just walking after me? Is that how it's gonna work? Just walking after me? Ah! I'm stuck. Again. Yeah. 